Hey guys, and today we're going to have a look at a solo Megafort Houston build. Uh, for this one, it's the only fort that I look at changing ships when we're heading off in the snow. While we're having a look at some buff food here as we're heading in, um, I like the Nidzi. For the extra mitigation and uh, obviously the stamina reduction um, when you're bracing as well. There's a lot of other good choices, this is just the one I'm running with, so yeah, take your pick, but just make sure you chuck something on that helps with mitigation or the stamina. Um, go ahead in here and start this one off. A little bit different to all the other forts you've seen me do. Don't shoot at this one to start it, we're going to come in and start it and then sail out. So, the strategy that I'm following here is um, one that I've also found online elsewhere. Uh, we're literally just hanging around the outside of the ring and taking out the ships as they're coming at us and just doing what we need to do to progress this blunder. We're not going to be taking out any of the towers at all and we'll just get started here now. I'm gonna head out to the outside of the ring and we're just gonna be bracing through all the damage. Uh, our build as we're heading out here uh, is a Ouroboros armor on the snow uh, and Dardanelles. A water tank uh, for stamina regeneration as well, just to aid in the uh, bracing. And we're using our brace to uh, the brace pad of Ouroboros to, to heal ourselves back up. So you can take some damage and uh, take some hits to, to heal that damage back up. And all we're doing out here is just destroying all the ships as they're coming at us uh, until we get to level 15 ships and then just taking them out slowly when you're coming on the outside or when you're on the outside of the ring here as I'm doing here just make sure that we're turning away from the fort you've got 60 seconds to get back into the plunder you've got plenty of time to be able to leave the circle as need be this bloke has dropped in here and helping with this little pest gets involved we might need a remake or stop and start again. Uh, don't want someone else joining the plunder, definitely makes it a lot harder. We'll see what he does. Hopefully he's just killing that little person and stuff and off. Right, first of our level 15 ships coming in here. do quite a bit of damage when they hit you with they, these cannons. You know, make sure that we're definitely bracing for those. It's pretty early in the morning here for me. A little bit uh, delayed and missing some of these shots. Also got my little boy with me on my knee today so hopefully it's not a, uh, a too much of a hindrance for me. We'll see how we go. sails to be able to do it again. Your, uh, your Dardanelles do a little bit less damage per hit but you can obviously keep shooting them a lot quicker. Um, the 
I don't know. You can do it either way. I've just found this is slightly quicker. Uh, normally in about, oh, take a bit of damage here. Normally it takes about uh, 25, 20, 25 minutes to do it uh, for me. So hopefully I can keep it to around about that today. A little bit uh, rusty here at the moment, missing a few shots here and there. Let's see what happens. This guy that uh, has come in before is just watching to see what's happening. I uh, don't think he's going to get involved, which is good. As soon as we get someone else come in and join the, the plunder, the enemies would scale up. Uh, a lot more damage, a lot more health uh, for every person that joins, so it just makes it a lot harder to do, which is why any of the plunders solo is actually easier than, than doing it in a group. Until we get some bigger ships and doing this in a group would be thing about the build here with the snow and the Ouroboros is you can really use any weapons, whatever you feel comfortable using. Everyone's playstyle is a bit different as well. Um, the main thing here is just we kill them and take the ships out. So however you like to do that, however you think you can maximise some damage. And then once these are, you can take the wall out, um, get some shots on the wall while they're fighting the ships. Here that I've been making, trying to do it the safest way possible for you guys so you can get it done without being sunk. Um, so obviously, that 20 minutes in and getting sunk and then having to start again would be shit. So, just trying to show you the safest way possible. And that would be destroying all these ships, which I'm going to do here first. Once they're all down, you'll get a period of time where you won't have any more spawn in uh, each time, yeah, and then we can safely destroy the wall which we'll be able to do here shortly uh, let's take, start taking out this first wall in a second let's finish these ships off here Purposely go through some of these mortars and some of these attacks uh, to brace just to heal if you're taking a little bit of damage, particularly as it gets a bit quieter and you don't need as much bracing. Uh, good idea just to sit there, like I'll do here, and actually take that hit. And then once you stop bracing, it'll add the health back on. Another thing you want to make sure you're using here is uh, your enhanced repair kits. See, I've got those on just as a precaution as well. You'll want to use one of those if you are taking a significant amount of damage. They're definitely the quickest repair kits and getting 50% uh, health on the snow for a large health pool for the snow. Um, definitely want to be using those enhanced level 1 uh, repair kits.
Just moving backwards and forwards here as well while we're getting a bit quieter. Um, just mostly moving at uh, second speed, so not trimming the sails. Just making sure we're keeping the majority or all of our energy for racing. Um, can you obviously trim the sails and go a bit faster if you do need to get away from someone or get out of some water uh, if you don't want to be taking the damage? But for the largest part, 90% of the time, just, uh, just second speed. Get some shots on the wall here. Have come a fair way in. Uh, normally back up, which we'll do now very shortly. I like doing a lot of time here. So instead of coming in, as you can see, taking these shots uh, from the cannon walls here, which is can be dangerous. So sitting out here about 500, 600 meters, just near this pillar here, which is just within range of the Dardanelles, we have to hit. And as you can see, all of these towers have now gone yellow and actually disengaged from me. Drifted out a little bit, might be a little bit far here. I'll just head back in. Just that 600 meter range, you can get some maximum rise shots to get the crits on the wall still. And you kind of go in and out of um, combat with these towers. So, as you can see, not in combat now, still get some shots on. They will come back at me so at some point. I always like coming uh, the aggro back on if you get too close or as you start doing some damage. And all I do is when they do, see the ray going back on me there. Now, as I start taking these shots, I will, I should go now actually, um, you go backwards and forwards just in this section here. Yeah, a bit slow on that. Instead of going left and right while I'm taking out this wall, uh, what you can do is basically just go backwards and forwards here, break off the um, turrets aggro on you, and head back into that 600 metre mark and get some more shots on. So as you can see, they've just dropped off again as soon as you come this far out. And you can head back into 600 metres, get a bunch of shots on, head back out, and rinse and repeat to take down that wall comfortably, safely. I've got aggro again there now, as you can see they've just changed to red. Once you're a little bit calmer and just want to heal, uh, if you've got too many ships out and about, I wouldn't be deliberately eating those. Get back into position here and get some more shots on that wall. Front. 
or Great Spriggan 3, just to get those shots on that wall. Back a bit further and get some good, uh, some good damage. And the other thing, of course, he can do is use the scoping station, just like in the post. Um, there's a post that um, Dagger done uh, showing his build with the scoping station. favour this one just for that extra survivability just to make sure that we're safe it does however mean it's a slight bit slower on taking down those walls and repeat here taking out these ships a couple of level 15s that uh, or level 15 to deal with but as you can see the majority of these are just low level ships polish them up pretty uh, pretty promptly focus back on that uh, level 15 As you can see, the shots from those front cannons on them, two hits, uh, eats the entire brace as well. Do just need to be careful if you've got multiple, uh, multiple of them. Just spot a little pest out there as well, just spawning in on us. Unlucky at the moment on this uh, this go, but a couple of them come on us. So the second wall here now appears on the right hand side. Uh, got some ships coming in here behind us. Let's sit here to get some shots on uh, the ship at range before he comes in. And then we'll make a move over towards the second wall. And from there, one more lot of ships, and uh, we will get our helm materials. lot of point finishing off this fort um, you might as well only go to get the hill materials in all honesty um, you only get an extra two or three hundred pieces of eight uh, and a couple of extra normal materials just like you get in a normal funder uh, you, you can um, if you do what I do though and stack four five six uh, helm quests for Ooston um, you'll be weighed down which will make you a much more easier target. It's not under, it's not not impossible. It's just risk versus reward. It's not there. Um, yeah, it's probably not not really worth it. But 
patrol coming in here as well. They are any low level ships. Just uh, finish them up without too much hassle. Sometimes uh, I take out that low level wall just to give it a little bit of extra breathing room. You know, if you want to, it's the only real wall that you uh, shoot at. But if you want to take it out, um, the damage I'm doing there now with this current build though is uh, definitely a lot reduced onto the wall without the ballista and the scoping station. And I probably won't bother taking it out, I'll just focus on the wall itself. Dardanelles making short work of these larger level 15s. I do like this build for for that reason um, and just the increased survivability. Uh, however, the scoping station is, uh, yeah, as I said, just a smidgen quicker on uh, on the walls themselves. sort of tactic here on this wall. I'm just going to be moving more in and out, uh, kind of in a, in a circular motion though, uh, to get the shots on the walls and still trying to mitigate or reduce this damage by avoiding as much as possible of these waters. Now that we've taken care of those ships, we'll be able to sit here and take this wall. And just being mindful of the, the cannon towers, the mortars. Another little pest here coming in on me. Been unlucky with him tonight. Another reason why we've both my builds, um, all of the solo sort of things you've seen from the other videos as well, I still like that uh, La Peste uh, furniture. It increases your ship damage, not just your building damage. I know some people like running 15% building damage, but this gives you 10% on your crit hits on buildings and on ships, so it's a little bit more versatile. Uh, plus, when you get these guys spawning in on you, when you're in the middle of trying to do something like this, uh, it just makes it a little bit easier to take out. Just put a new food buff on, it's just running quite low, don't want it to drop off. I haven't got them on my Hot Wheels, so I had to jump in and grab that.
focusing on the wall here now. Again, taking care of those ships. Safety being the main focus of this build. And give us the freedom now just to take on this wall pretty comfortably. As you've seen, if you do take a hit, you can chew up your, your brace pretty quickly. It can be a significant amount of damage. So disfavoring a longer fight, a bit of extra survivability. Rather than getting caught out accidentally with the long nines and scoping station build. If you get used to it and you're good with it, it's, um, definitely pretty safe but for the first few times you probably do this I recommend a, a build of a little bit more survivability like this one here I'm showing you today As you can see, apart from these mortars here now, not taking a lot of damage. Another little pest on me. Obviously the Ouroboros, which is really a necessity anyway, is uh, particularly when fighting all these mortars from the Dutch, as we know, they do a lot of severe damage, so just constantly taking that severe damage off us um, throughout the fight. It's really the only time I've used the Ouroboros armor, um, but really a necessity for this type of thing. And best used on the snow here with large health pool but more importantly large bracing pool. I think a common misconception is how the Ouroboros works uh, just from what it says you, you heal for a percentage of the damage that you brace against so if you brace against 100,000 damage 15% 15,000 is what you'd heal for. When you're taking on a constant damage uh, very very handy. direction there briefly. Um, 
just have to sit, sit my boy down, he's going to be too squirmy. Off this wall here now with this shot should do really oh yep there we go and now we've just got to get through this chest so we survive with no other ships come in yeah, there we go we've completed that contract oh yeah you had four this time four thousand four thousand resources don't hurt